Yo guys, what's going on? I hope you're doing fantastic. I know I'm doing great. And today we're gonna go over the quickest, easiest way to start two tick harpoon fishing in Piscorilius. And right before we get started guys, almost 70% of my viewers are not subscribed. You can help me out extremely by just smashing that sub button. I'm out here grinding content for you. And I just wanna say a quick thanks for 100 subs. I'm just getting started and it really means a lot. And at 1,000 subs, the giveaways are gonna start. Let's get into the video. All right, for those of you that care, two tick harpoon fishing is actually gonna be the fastest XP we can get to 99 fishing, but I recommend waiting until 71 to start and doing barb fishing beforehand. And it's also the fastest way to get yourself the heron pet, which is absolutely sick. For the gear and inventory, extremely simple. Let's bring the angler's outfit if you have it and your best in slot harpoon, preferably the crystal harpoon. In addition, we're gonna wanna bring runes for any low level curse spell. And we're gonna wanna be wielding a bow, but with no ammunition. Lastly, and optionally, you can bring any one tick item. We are gonna be fishing in Piscorilius, like I said earlier. The fast way to get here is gonna be the Fisher's Flute Teleport on Coret's Memories. Make sure you've completed the Queen of Thieves. And if you don't have this unlocked, you can always take a boat to the port. You can come from Asidius, come from the castle. There's a bunch of different ways to get here. And before we get into it, let's go over to Menu Entry Swapper in our plugins, go to Object Swaps, and make sure that we have Harpoon checked on. And if you'd like, you can head over to the Plugin Hub section of the plugins. We can search for drop and install left click dropper. Once it's installed, we can then find it, open the settings and type in raw swordfish and raw tuna. Thanks to the plugin, we can drop these items with one click and without shift. All right, I think we're ready to get into two tick harpoon fishing. Now that we're here, I'm actually gonna go to the rats and click tag all because we need two of them to start doing our fishing. And this is what we brought our runes for. We don't wanna kill them, they have two HP. So we're just gonna cast a spell and get their attention. Once both rats are aggroed on us, we're going to want to walk them over to the fishing spot. It's kind of hard to describe what we have to do, but you kind of just mess around and walk around with it a little bit. Here's how I set it up, and the goal here is we want them in a line one tile away from our fishing spot. And then once you have this set up, we are going to wait for a hit splat to appear on our character and then walk under that rat. And this should set it up perfectly. You'll know it's set up correctly when you have a hit a gap in between, a hit, a gap in between. If your hits at any point are stacking up on your character, it is set up in the wrong way. We're not ready to two tick harpoon fish, but if you're new to tick manipulation or just want some help, you can always turn on the metronome plugin in the plugins. Simply put, to start two tick harpoon fishing, we're gonna click once per game tick, once on the fishing spot and once to cancel it. Personally, I think the easiest way is to click the water next to the fishing spot, but you also could do any one tick action you prefer. This is an example of me fletching darts in between game ticks that I'm fishing. And in this clip, my one tick action is dropping the fish. And I'm also using a metronome here. That is about it. We have made it to the end of the video. That is all there is to it. Thank you so much if you made it this far. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I'm uploading daily. And you could smash that naughty bell if you're a beast. I appreciate you. Thanks for 100 subs. And I'm out of here. Later.